I'm going to talk about abstract of your thesis. <coughs> How to write abstract? <coughs> so first of all, let's clear the concept of abstract when you are writing your thesis or when you are writing your articles, your conference paper, your book chapter, your research article, your review article. All these research stuff have their abstract. Abstract, you can call it summary or conclusion. But I will make it very, very clear that what is the difference between abstract and conclusion. This video is all about abstract. Both abstract and conclusion are some people write summary or the same stuff, but you are just uh, doing little bit changes. So abstract is at the beginning and conclusion or summary at the end of your document either it is thesis which is your research paper conference paper book chapter everything so abstract what i understand this in a much deeper way is that for instance my thesis is now uh, 189 pages and somebody do not have time to read my 189 pages so how i need to convey my whole message to him or her about my research work that she or he uh, do not want to waste the time but they are key interest in my work and they want to know the whole story in a very short time this is called abstract for instance if you read my abstract without going into detail my result discussion my conclusion my introduction everything and you got your idea from my abstract this is we call abstract of your thesis so let's see i just summarize my whole result in a very very compact form and this is almost one page good thesis here abstract one page almost you see this is one page and this is my Malay version here abstract but this abstract is just one page here so friends let's start and read this little bit I do not want to uh, keep you waiting and uh, waste your time but just to give you the, the, the sense my work was basically on photo unit or working electrode so I just tell the reader first photo unit play vital role in the operation of dye sensitized solar cell owing to its manifold functions look this <laughs> i am telling the the readers the first very important thing that that i am working on photo unit and i am telling the benefits the key property of photo unit the photo unit plays very important role in the operation of dye sensitized solar cell why it's play important role i am telling them that because of its manifold functions number first it acts is a substrate to anchor dye this is the the first uh, feature of substrate to provide home to pro provide locations for the uh, dye dying anchor mean to spread there number second enable the bound electron hole pair form in the dye to be separated into mobile charges carrier this substrate when we shine light on the dye so it generate uh, electron hole pair and those electron have to jump to the uh, metal oxide substrate so it also provide uh, uh, those electron to make it separate the hole in electron and electron go in one direction and hole go in another directions so this is the second feature of the uh, uh, photo unit the third feature is provide a medium to accept and transport the photo electrons this is what i said here you see it is doing that this these two are almost similar but see we say this provide the medium basically if it was not there so you cannot uh, make the uh, electron hole separated so it provide the medium now look i am also bringing my problem statement here in the abstract i am telling the people that why i start doing this work first i tell the readers that photo you not play very important role because of these properties now i am telling that although titania titania 
nanoparticles is the most successful implied photo inert material in dye sensitized solar cell delivering efficiency 14.3 percent due to its high specific surface area i am telling that these are the key feature of titania it is but i am telling that it is this means titania is characterized by slow electron diffusion mobility but these titania have a problem that problem is it has a low electron mobility slow electron mobility so this is the drawback you see so this is now i'm bringing to well my other point that on other hand sno2 which is my work show an outstanding performance in any up to electronic devices owing to its higher electron mobility there is a problem for titania but it is beneficial beneficial for uh, uh sno2 the high electron mobility could transport electron much faster and minimize the charge recombination in the device you see i am now telling the beautiful things of my material uh, that is the uh, uh, sno2 from this point of view sno2 is an interesting alternative to that of titania titania give very good efficiency but it has this drawback and we have another material which do not have this drawback that is sno2 interesting alternative so you see so now again i start that slowly i tell that my whole story a little bit that what i did then i make the composite then finally you see and i get this efficiency efficiency at the end what i said results of this research provide promising directions such as increasing surface area and surface roughness of the composite nanofibers so that efficiency level for practical application could be realized it's a very nice sentence here you see this is i give future directions <laughs> uh, remember i told that if you read my abstract so you can get the whole idea so i say result of this research provide promising directions such as increasing surface area if you can increase in surface area further and surface roughness of the composite for their efficiency levels per pixel application could be less we can give very high efficiency so just let's go go by one by one first of all i said abstract is if somebody read your abstract and he can get the full idea of your whole phd this is called abstract a very simple photo nodes i explain that what is my material i explain the properties and then i explain that people use titania but that has a little problem and we have another material that is sna2 which it is not that pro problem so from that point of view sna2 is an interesting alternative to that of titania so then again i start that what i did first i pass palm nano particles nano sphere then i use hydrothermal after that i use electro spinning and i tested those in uh, devices after that i I uh, use electro spinning and find fabric synthesized nano fibers then I make the composite you see here the composite and finally I explain my whole result here you see and finally I also give my final direction this was all about abstract that uh, it is a very short briefing uh, overview of your whole research I hope you understand abstract and you still confuse about your abstract how to write your abstract please do not hesitate to put your comments and i will definitely respond to you thanks for watching